Now, I know y'all just didn't think that we wasn't fasting, baby. We are fasting for June, for sure. You know I'm not missing that. So come on in. Let's go. Now, I need you to start to understand that fasting is not all for weight loss. Yes, we want to lose weight while we're doing this, but this is a spiritual journey. That's why I'm outside today. I want to be outside with nature. I want to talk to y'all about manifesting your life, understanding that you can do that with fasting. It's important that you learn that that's possible. If you don't know that it's possible, it won't happen for you. I've done some things that I never could have imagined that I been could even do. I've seen some things that I never could have even imagined that I can see because I've used fasting to my advantage. So, yes, I want you to lose weight in this fast, but I want you to start to manifest your life, your goals, your aspirations, where you want to go, right? It's not all about losing those pounds because as we know, if we've been fasting, we know that that weight can come back. It's about understanding and maintaining your goals so you know that it's okay that the weight is coming back and it's all natural. It's just about getting it off slowly. It's, it's not about a race. It's about learning that weight is going to come off the way it wants to. You don't have to race yourself to lose the weight. You just got to understand that you're moving towards a goal. And to just to live in the process. Live in your process. Right? Allow process to take over. It's not about anything else but learning to live in your process and loving yourself. So let's get straight to this fast. This fast is going to be an all water fast, as you can see from the title. I also want to let you guys know that we're not just doing water. We're going to make sure we incorporate some limes because we want to flush the mucus and everything out of our digestive system. And we're going to do tea with herbs as well. So those are two things I want you to keep in mind that you're going to be doing as well. Every two hours that you're woke, you should have at least a bottle of water. Four hours you're woke, you should have two bottles of water in your system. You six six hours you should have three bottles right so on like that that's how you should keep up with your amount of water that you should be taking in your body as long as you're awake with your tea make sure you get a, a good cup you know not a lot just a nice little teacup is cool two teacups is fine of some herbs do not add agave do not add sugar do not add anything everything should be just herbs you want to go straight to where you need to that's your goal for these three days Making sure that you paying attention to the amount of water that's going in. Making sure that you're flushing your system. Make sure before you get that water in you, you're taking a lime that you bite on a key lime. A half of a key lime. You should be biting and squeezing the juice in you. We got it. It's not that difficult. I just want to make sure that you're flushing your system. And the spiritual growth that you're going to get from this is amazing. Because it's all about transparency, being clear, and going into July with an open mind, right? So we're going to use water to do this it's just about what you want to do with yourself staying forward and, and just not giving up on what you want to do with you and if you give up easily it will show don't allow the hunger to take over i've already started my fast i'm sorry y'all i started already so this is my day one and it's been amazing it's been a lot of amazing breakthroughs that's happened for me and i'm just seeing myself develop in a way that i couldn't even imagine so allow yourself that leverage give yourself that time that peace and do what you need to do for you if you stand it for you, things will work. But if you're not standing for you, those things won't work. <laughs> you have to stand on business. Don't allow yourself to feel like it's not possible because anything is possible. Like I said, this is going to be a water fast. Every two hours, you should have at least a bottle of water. That's it. That's your woke. And then you should have your tea by the end of the night or early in the morning. Pick one. Pick one. Early in the morning or at night simple that each day that you're fasting you need to be in a space where you understanding you're fasting for create something that you want right right now i'm going into love longevity and gratitude each day i've circled myself around love longevity and gratitude you can pick the same words if you want to just find something that you're going to meditate about and you're going to focus on and move towards that keep that intention as you go and I'm telling you, it's going to work for you, lady. I'm not going to force you to do anything, but you know what you need to be doing. So it's time to stand up and stand for yourself and go for it where you want to go. This fast is three days. Um, make sure you keep your head on strong. If you're feeling like you want to give up, if it's feeling like too much, it's okay. Just stop. You don't have to keep going if it's too much. Just understand where you are 
and move forward. It was a time when I stopped doing water fast because there was a lot for me. But right now I'm ready to jump into it again. And that's what I want y'all to do. Learn when you time to jump back in the rope and do what you need to do. So I'm going to see you guys after the fast. Y'all can drop down in the comments any other fast y'all want to try with me and things y'all want to do next. Things you want to see on this channel. Stuff like that. Just, you know, give me some some pointers of what y'all want on this channel going forward. I've been adding reaction videos because I know y'all love them so much for me. And I've been actually adding workout videos too. So y'all keep on adding. Give me tips on what y'all want next. Let me know if y'all want a Q&A. Anything like that and we can go forward. But until next time, I love you so much.